Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. We're doing another 30 days of sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. This is done by a um, lovely lady. We're just going to get right into it. The sketch today is done by Lisa Marie. Um, Lisa is a member of Ginger's um, Corner Facebook group. She does swaps over there and I am so excited to do her sketch. So Lisa even went um, broke down the different um, sizes of paper that you need and I'll put the sketch up there of course. Um, let's just have some fun. It's basically a block design and I used a bunch of scraps in this. Lots of fun. Now this is my version of hers. She said that this one here was to be eight and a half by 11. This one here was to be eight by six. Um, she has a four by six photo. Mine's obviously a five by seven that I double matted. And then the strips on here are three and a half by one and two and a half by one. I did cut mine down to three and a quarters by two and a half. So I didn't make them both the exact same size. That's just a preference. And mine is gonna be a two page layout. So Lisa, thank you so much for the inspiration. I will definitely be doing that again. Let me see if I can make more room. I just started and it's already a mess. So this is going to be page two right here. And what I did is if you watch me make my page kits, I took the scrap of this, I put it over here. What This was a scrap to begin with, but I had to cut it down, so that's here. And then I used scraps to make these strips. That's it. Then I did some mixed media. Now, I've shown this lots of times, you've probably seen this lots of times, but I know I have some new followers and I know there's new scrappers out there, so I'm just gonna go over it really quick. I did mixed media in the parts where she had her clusters. So I just took packaging, this is some Timu packaging, and I took my ink pad, this time I'm using um, fossilized amber, put it on here, tiny little spritz of water, and then I just dabbed it. I did it with both the green and the yellow in the spots. I mimicked her clusters and then I did it here and here. This will kind of look like one cluster when we're done. I hope that's my intention. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Then I did ink. I'll throw that away now. I did ink all of my pictures, okay, um, with the same exact colors, including my brushed corduroy favorite. Um, I inked the edges of everything. I even went down the center, which is not my go to, but because I have clusters here, I thought it blended well. So I did go ahead and do that. Now I can move this out of the way. Um, let's see here. These are just some pretty pictures of Jill in front of her shimmer curtain and my title is Shine Bright. I used, let's see, what did I use here? I used Paper House cardstock um, stickers. I don't have much gold, <laughs> like I had to dig deep. And these are almost all used up, but I'm using them and so I'm happy about that. Then I got out some wood veneer from some assemblage required and it's time to play. I already um, colored them um, and I'll put close-ups when I finish the whole thing. I used my new wood veneer markers that I got on Amazon. Um, these are called Thule Art Acrylic Paint Pen. Um, they are in the Amazon store if it's something that you want. I got these, actually a scrappy friend told me MK used these. So then I went and I sought them out and she sent me the Amazon link. So I'm just sharing that with you, but you can look them up yourself. They work amazing. They work on the Dollar Tree wood veneer. They work on a lot. And I know a lot of people say that Dollar Tree wood veneer leaves a residue. If you um, do this or paint them with clean fingernail polish, I think been told that that will help in that. I've never had that problem, but you know, my goal this year is to use wood veneer. So maybe I haven't used it enough to have that problem. I don't know, but I will tell you in case some assemblage required, um, uh, wood veneer, no residue. It is amazing. It is wonderful. I love it. Like for, for real, just look up some assemblage require. If I remember, I'll put the link in this video. If not, I would just comment and I'll help you find it. So I love him. Okay. We know this. It's not, she's just awesome. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, is I want my little gnome house over here. Okay. And then I want my little gnome. I actually think if you look at these, 
let me show you again. You look at these, it looks, I think they're supposed to be like snow, like a spring snow, but I made it like moss growing on them. That's how I'm, that's how I've seen it in my head. So I'm going to put one here and I love these little bits because I'm gonna put those right up here. There's one, here's another one, has a little bit, maybe we'll switch those. Let's just play here. There we go. There we go. I could even attach them. Oh, I think I'm gonna attach them. I don't know, we might play with that later. Then we have mushrooms. There's one here and one there. Okay, so then I have all of it. So let's see if we can't rearrange these just a little, just a little. I could put this one up on foam, so it's like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay, then, oh, I'm so excited. I have so many things to play with that I have it all out. All right, then I got this, I just got this, okay? I'm gonna put these sentiments in there. I always pull out some sentiments. These are um, Grove acrylic leaves from 49 and Market, and I did order them just for Jill. And so we're gonna see if we can't play with them. So since we're, we've got moss, I thought maybe the um, florals or something, I'm not really sure. Um, let's see, I like the sentiments. Let's see if we can't. Let's see, family memories. What does this one say? Live in the sunshine. And since we have shine bright, maybe we could put that there. We're gonna have to play with that more because I'm not sure I like the way that that is. Then I've got some ivy. Maybe I can stick some there. I like that. I do wanna leave this here for some journaling. So I don't wanna get crazy over here. Let's see what else we have. This one, I'm kind of liking that style. There's some more and some more. Okay, so maybe I can layer this here. Even make, ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay, so I'd have to maybe tuck it in there a little bit more so that not there we go okay I just like the stock is that weird I think it's pretty I like that okay we have it here we have it over here I am kind of wanting another one so let's do we have another little ivy oh here's one okay this one's even small we could go like that I like that too that's pretty Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so there's that. I did write Sweet 16 right on here. And I don't know, like, I almost wonder if that shouldn't be the whole kit and caboodle. Or should we put this sentiment down here, which I kind of do like, live in the sunshine, that's cute, and find something else for over here. I have go, I have amazing. If we were to go like this and this, oh, come on now. <laughs> He's smarter than the wood veneer. <laughs> Might be an issue for me. Um, pull this down and put amazing right there. Hmm, maybe we could do that. I do like that. Took me, you know, this is coming really quick together, but it took me a good 30 minutes to color all this wood veneer, I'm just saying, because I'm not good at that. I almost want a white sentiment there. Let's see, what do I have? Maybe I have something else I could use. I do have some gold elements. We might be able to pull some of those in. Um, white, white. Let me pull this out. Let's see what we got here. My drawers. I'm not into digging out everything, but maybe we can find a little sentiment in here that would work. Friends. Oh, look at those pretty white butterflies. Um, I don't see anything off the top, but I know I have Tim Holtz. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this here. That was out of the 49er Market Ephemera Pack when, when I did this, when I made my kits. 
I'm going to see if I can't find something better for right here. I just think the stark white will look better. And definitely need to pull in some gold. So what can we do? I need, here's a star. That's pretty cute, but way too big, right? Maybe we can come up with some other ones. What is this? It's a Brad Hart, kind of like the arrows, kind of do. Rose gold there. We need some gold something here. I have lots of gold stars. That's pretty. Oh, look, shine bright like a diamond. Um, boy, really pressing for some gold stars. What if, I wonder if there's any in that um, alphas. Let's look. Okay, no, of course not. Why would there be? I want some. Um, mm, I could do sequins. Oh yeah, let's, I do have these little stars that we put in the kit here. But I also have gold sequins. So instead of enamel dots, I'm going to use sequins to pull that gold in from the title. So I have the darker ones and I have some lighter ones that we did when we made our kits for 30 Days of Sketches. So I think that's the plan. Instead of enamel dots, I'm going to use the sequins. So let me go glue it all down. I will be right back and we'll talk about whatever I do different. Thanks for hanging in there with me. All right, you guys, I got it all glued down. I put the sequins in. I think that kind of tied it all together. I'll journal here um, later. Fun, fun. Thank you so much, Lisa, for your inspiration. Make sure you're checking everyone else out. Everyone's gonna do the same sketch with different product, different ways. Some people will only do one page. Some people will do two pages like me. It is a lot of fun and there's just one link you have to click. Go over, you can get these sketches for free on Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Facebook group. That link is in the description. It is so fun. I am so, so excited that I got to do Lisa's sketch and I'm really honored that you chose to hang out with me. I hope you're having fun and I will see you tomorrow. Be blessed. Bye. Thank you.